What have Michael Jackson, Andy Warhol, Jensen Button, Audrey Hepburn, James Dean, Bob Dylan, Barack Obama and the Blues Brothers all got in common? I'll tell you, they're all famous for wearing Ray-Bans. I know. Cool. But they're not just about style. There's more tech to these iconic sunglasses than meets the eye. Ray-Bans were created in the 1920s by a company called Bausch & Lomb after famous American aviator Lieutenant John McCready complained of sun damage to his eyes during a ballooning trip and asked them to come up with a solution. The prototype Ray-Bans were known as anti-glare and these consisted of an extremely lightweight gold-plated frame weighing just 150 grams and two green lenses made from mineral glass which filtered out infrared and ultraviolet rays. And it was this prototype which developed into the classic aviator design launched in 1937. The oversized lenses bulged slightly and this design was intended to cover the entire range of the eye and keep all sunlight out. They did their job so effectively that United States pilots adopted the sunglasses and in the Second World War they became an essential technology for all American soldiers. This military chic became a major selling point for Ray-Ban and by the 60s Ray-Ban sunglasses, both the classic aviator and the more trendy Wayfarer designs, had become the world's best known sunglasses. A popularity which grew further in the 80s when Ray-Bans were sported by Tom Cruise and Val Kilmer in the coolest movie of the decade, Top Gun. Ray-Bans represent the very best in gadgetry, simple and effective technology, and above all, they're very, very cool. Yeah, Otis, you can be my wingman if you like, but I'm going to be out in front turning right into the danger zone in these. A pair of Oakleys. Oakley was started off in a garage laboratory by a mad scientist called Jim Jannard. Back in 1975, he had the aim of making products that worked better and looked better than anything else. His first product was a hand grip for motorbikes, which actually got grippier as the rider got sweatier. It was made of an entirely new material, amusingly called unobtainium. But it's this next design that I'm here for, the shades. These are the first ever Oakley shades. They're called Oakley O-Frame Goggles. And they feature the unobtainium that Jim invented. It's brilliant. It grips your nose and your ears. And it was radical when they first arrived on the market. And for that reason, the radical dudes, with all their extreme sports, absolutely loved them. And Oakley was cool. Four years later, Oakley released a new design called the Eye Shade. Coming up with names obviously isn't their strong point. The eye shades were the specs of choice for Tour de France legends like Lance Armstrong. And despite their functional styling, they became fashion accessories in the 80s. Even now, Oakley are packing technology into their frames that sounds like it would kill a superhero. Plutonite and exotic metal alloys. The lenses are where you'll find the Plutonite. Its job is to filter out the ultraviolet light. And the frames are often made with titanium and alloys containing five different metals to make them light. Now the Oakley range is massive, with designs of pure style ranging up to hardcore goggles that extreme parachuting ski jump type bikers would wear as they fly down from Everest on a hoverboard. The function and the form have gone hand in hand all the way into the 21st century. So, for being cool, technology packed shades that feature all kinds of gadgetry to back up their style. I'd say that Oakley Shades fully deserve a place on the Gadget Show Wall of Fame. Ooh, it's a difficult decision, isn't it? I mean, I, I think in iconic terms, the Ray-Ban should win. I think in technology terms, the Oakley should win. Ooh. But I think I have made a decision. And I think... Oakleys have to go yes! on the Gadget Show's Wall of Fame because out of the two manufacturers, they both produced icons, but only Oakley has really reveled in their sunglasses technology. I think you're absolutely right. I do think they are the gadget choice, if I'm absolutely honest. And may yep. I say, there is one time when you really need to be wearing a cool pair of shades, and that's when you're putting a cool pair of shades on the Wall of Fame.